Yeah. 
right, of course, this is Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio, a platform where we have dedicated ourselves to telling our people the truth, guiding our people through this dark moment, making sure that this project is brought to a conclusive end. Of course, we cannot be distracted, I must tell you the truth. I will say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. This is Radio Biafra Extra, and we are streaming through Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio, a platform which is the embodiment of pro Biafran group. There are a lot of people agitating because of the bad governance in Nigeria, because of the influence of the colonial master and many other things. In fact, Nigeria is just another hair created out of maybe the fig name or imaginary hair. It's an evil and I should say. If we are sincere to ourselves, from the president of Nigeria to even the man in sin along the street of Nigeria, everybody knows everything is wrong. And so, in this pro Biafran group, some are glamouring for restructure. The country needs to be restructured, but we can't forget that over 10 million Biafrans died because of this restructure. Some are asking for resource control. The issue of Adakaburu and his men cannot be overwritten. And then another are asking for a, 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 a regional autonomy. You can ask those who are conversing for presidency and so on and so forth. And then we are here asking for division of Nigeria. Yet others say this constitution is fraudulent. We need to pull it down and review it. You see, everybody is making sense one way or the other. And so some of these people with different ideology came together to defend the people of Biafra. And of course, the overall interest of all the ethnic nationality trapped inside the concepts, inside the idea, one Nigeria. And that is why we are here. I remember George Unibi and I hear from Abo and Yoma Province Delta States to be precise. I must acknowledge all of you who has put in time and resources together to make sure this platform is here. You will never know the miracle you have done on behalf of the people. You will not know the atrocity you have placed on hood. You will not know how many blood that would have flowed in our land without this platform. Our people are not yet able to understand the role we are playing. But not to worry, they shall understand in due time. Acknowledge the Creator who has set our feet upon this path that we must follow, for without Him we are gone as a people. And then I say happy weekend to all of you. Tomorrow is another working day, and some of you are getting ready to prepare for another working day ahead. But that notwithstanding, those of you in Biafra land, there is need for you to pay attention in what is happening and the process we are going through as a people. And those of you in Biafra, I mean, outside Biafra land, who for one way or the other whether you are deceived you are misguided whether out of ignorance you are doing what you are doing or you are genuinely doing what you're supposed to do all of us it is time to apply our heart to reasoning calculate everything that has been happening and then try to visage where this will lead us to and probably per adventure you are able to have a preferred solution to this imminent danger our topic this evening is uh, the four type of killer squad we have in biafra land and of course this should not be new to you we have been talking about insecurity and of course some kind of deceptive uh, press communique being issued everywhere but uh, i think the issue of insecurity is on the peak like today, uh, some of our brothers are on the Facebook. They are telling you, hey, Okeja is bleeding. Okeja is bleeding. Ibubago and uh, Suludu. Is it Professor Suludu? They are killing Ibu people. Hey, Okeja is bleeding. And then, everywhere you keep hearing, this is insecurity. Who is responsible? What kind of insecurity should you expect? And what kind of insecurity can kill you? What kind of insecurity can destroy your home? What kind of insecurity can chase you out of your home? They are not the same. And the way to shield yourself against all of them differs. 
and that is why i think it is imperative very important this evening that you need to toil about if you go and ask the former president of america barack obama he chased good luck Iberi out of office because they tagged him that the insecurity in nigeria is a fresher he cannot handle it and i thought he need to leave the office and of course our general the presiding president of nigeria muhammadu buhari who is a general since he was born he's a general and he's going to die as a general he's now in power and i think insecurity killer squad they have increased and of course i won't go deeper so i will not distract you from the main issue this discussion actually is meant to point out some of these issues in order to help us to guide against its processes we're going to look at some of these things when you see them you understand it, it it's danger you guide against it because the last time i checked the issue of insecurity in nigeria you cannot sweep it under the carpet it must be fought holistically and subdued totally but the last time i checked we are all romancing with the issue somewhere along the line is affecting a cross section of nigeria and some are living in their heavy tours yet they are untouchable but the last time i also checked only one is invincible and that is the creator nobody is invincible no country in the world is invincible and that is why i keep reminding us kingdom rise and kingdom fall first of all some of the reason we are looking at this four killer squad we have in biafra land in nigeria is first of all to help us understand the heart of terrorism the very very heart you need to understand the heart of terrorism you need to understand how it functions so that if you are supporting terrorism you begin to retrace your step this discussion this evening is also meant to point out to you who are the real murderers who are the real killers because most of you don't know and that is why what do we do you will always be, be misjudged because man fear that which they do not know or understand and we're making every effort to make who you really are and of course we are working very hard so that you should not be part of their victim if you know how they function you cannot be part of or be a victim to this killer squad one of them was on my page this morning he told me uh, uh, that he hopes i am ready waiting for them because they will actually come for me and i told him even from the day one i have been waiting for them after all i am their destiny and i am their doom and i swear to almighty creator what i will do to them matt will not talk about it i'm not a spirit too, but i like to send message across to them let them do their worst what i will do to them god will be our sweetness because from their mouth god will declare judgment i'm not invisible i do not have any ak-47 to myself i cannot command anybody to go and kill anybody i'm just simply the son of my father who have seen evil recognize evil preach against evil and i continue to do that but i survive all of them why because i know how they function they are predictable i'm very pathetic it's quite unfortunate that most of our people who have refused to heed to our instruction even while we beckon on them will pay the price 
And so this very evening, having said this, we look at the first type of the killer squad. These are the extrajudicial killing, of course, by the government of the day. When we talk about killer squad, there are so many killer squad. Extrajudicial killing, unlawful killing of Nigerian citizens by Nigerian government. The day now the Kano house was invaded, how many people died? That is extra judicial killing. When China Sangwe will come and call your name on air and you are killed, it's part of extra judicial killing. When the police ask you to give them money, you refuse to give them money. It's part of extra judicial killing. And when IPOB or unknown government or ESM kill policeman or army man, they will turn your community into a military zone. That is extrajudicial killing. Everybody involved in this process, they are part of the first squad known as the extrajudicial killers. They are everywhere. They justify what they do by the existing law, even when they know they are working against that law. Our politicians cannot speak up today. Our monarchs has gone dumb. And of course, intellectuals pretend to be deaf. And so, it flourish in our land. If people are afraid of saying the truth, if people are afraid of confronting evil, it's just because they don't want to be a victim to those who are specialists in extrajudicial killing. We could go on and on and on and on and begin to mention them. But you already know how they function. You already know who they are. In as much as we understand the 14 person that politically died recently in Imo State, because some group of criminals want to show that they are killing Biafra or want to condemn a Bubago, that is extrajudicial killing. Because most of these boys, now they cannot ask them to throw their phone away and go to the bush. And they don't know, now they cannot have collected this money. It's just that the current political platform, nobody has agreed to give him money. Because it's almost becoming political irrelevant. But they still are waiting for you to do not shield your sword yet. And so the boys are in the bush. You can see them wear masquerades, tell you the spirit have risen. And when you shoot them AK-47, they are dead. And the media warriors will come. And say, oh, it's a judicial killing. Oh, United Nations, no, oh, they are killing us. Oh, United Nations, no. No amount of money you will pay that will make United Nations to let us go. It is going to take something we have not done before. And that is one of the reasons I joined this struggle. We have never spoken with one voice. We as a people have never spoken with one voice. That was the miracle I am looking up to. And that is the miracle I am still looking up to. Until then, begin to yap. Begin to shut your mother. Kill all your village people. Show us your supreme mercy. We shall see how it ends. And so, you send these people to their deaths. You push them out by telling them, no, you are fighting for your fatherland. And then you see the case of extrajudicial killing. That is what happened in Imo State. And it's still trending. Oh, two siblings. They were killed. Two siblings. The last time I checked, IPOB have killed as much as they killed Nigerian kiddos. What the hell are you telling me? IPOB have killed more than Nigeria have killed us. And that is why I keep asking Igbo people, disassociate yourself from the canal Because it's going to make a mistake that it will affect all of us. I know you don't like the sound of this, but get ready for it. It will affect all of us. You know, in time past, any smart thing, Igbo people, Igbo people do this, Igbo people do that, Igbo people do this. That is because when you see criminal like Kenan the Kano, you cover him 
you, you look at the truth, ignore the truth, you murder the truth, you throw the truth away. At the end of the day, the whole people die for what they know nothing about. It has begun already. My extrajudicial killing is coming. It's very painful that this time around, we're not saying it is the enemy doing it. We are now saying we are the one doing it. So this time, IPOB and the Kano warrior tells you, Ibubago, Ibubago, they are indicting your governors, they are indicting your brothers who are against their criminal and fraudulent activities in Biafra land. They are actually implicating those who have diverse opinion from that their, their, their opinion. And so they created this platform. According to the martial art law of the Nigerian uh, 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 decree, when you kill a soldier in any community, that community will suffer the fate of Udi. But I think Nigerian army are being lenient this time around. Or is it because some of them are even involved in this atrocity? Because if it were to be before, you won't even have the privilege to say, oh, there is a, here is bleeding, that place is bleeding. You won't have that privilege. Okay, okay, okay. They are afraid of social media. Because if they add too much, you will catch them on camera. That is why when they see you around where they are carrying out their heroes, they shoot everybody. Extrajudicial killing. What led to it? Avoid them. Disassociate yourself. This is not the agitation you knew before. This is something different. You, you are finding it difficult to accept it. But don't worry. It's just a matter of time. Number two, killer squad in Nigeria. In general, of course, Biafra land in particular. Number two is religious bigot. Like the, those who have Islamic agenda. You can talk about Boko Haram. You can talk about Fulani headsmen. Meati Allah. Lamido Sanusi Lamido. Erufai. Buhare. These are religious bigots. They want to conquer us for Allah. They want to conquer us for Allah. And somewhere along the line, BBC will tell you, oh, they own they owns Africa. They are the largest population in Africa. But I don't know where the lie is coming from, for the sake of God. And, and so the Europeans, who are even more in population? Because we need to know. The Fulanis are there ravaging everywhere, aided and abated by the British government, the colonial masters. Just to keep all of us under subjugation. And then they kill you for Allah. Consider your land, your wife, your children, your property as a conquest. What, what do they call it? Typical all of you, these are the sports of war. But in the real sense, they cannot kill everybody. If we have to go back to the generation of 1966 to 1970, one thought that the Biafra nation will be blotted out in less than one month. You see, just lately, I was having a discussion with somebody, and I said for three years the war lasted. The person said, you said what? I said for three years. He said, do you mean the Biafra war lasted for three years? I said, yes. He said, then, that Biafra must be very strong. And so what am I saying in effect? If it were to be war to war, God who lives in heaven knew. Let me not go there. But the full army will not see one week. We have the Soviet Union supporting Nigeria. We have the Egyptians pilot bombing Biafra land. We have British government giving us media blackmail. We have many countries around the world. But I will not fail to tell you that they were those who did sympathize with us. But in the midst of uncountable, unknown foes, they stood their ground. But of course, we are almost handcuffed. We just cannot defend ourselves. 
because when you defend yourself it becomes a crime these people are killing us you can go and pretend you love them you can go and behave well oh, it's where we are one may god not let hap it happen when you are not prepared do not call you to hate anybody i'm just telling you to get ready because when it fall if they look around nobody to kill just to get to us they will come for you and that is why those of you in the north don't don't, don't relax so much because they are everywhere of course the current confusion in biafra land is helping or is actually working because at this at this moment they are moving back to avoid had i know but they are not relaxing they are not a killer squad you hear them everywhere is it not the issue of the borough that we have just talked uh, recently somebody say muhammad is an idiot and then they carry cutlass and kill him and so you live in fear every day they cause jesus christ to every minute and when you tell them muhammad is an idiot they not look for cutlass and start killing you you think these people are human beings they are killer squad i can do that because i'm in biafra land but then if i am in the north and as i i say this if they cannot get to me they look for my nearest brother and kill them people die because of this they are killer squad and then one could imagine if christians now begin to do that and somebody say no christian faith is not like that then you are not a christian it's just a matter of time you will understand when jesus said sell your suit sell everything you have go and back at last you think jesus was dreaming we will get to that end after all after the deaths of the disciples and of course jesus christ apostle paul handed the church over to the catholic the universal church there was a very violent war between christians and muslim in that era christians were almost pushed to extinction and the night you hear today from the order of the day they created the night from different sections they created night these were fierce warriors never known and their history is not even yet told in the history of the world go and find out the people that committed the highest sin you see it's the church the crusaders which the war that you don't even need to talk about it that is what led to the survival of christianity you think christians are people who are who they are doing jiggy jiggy these are repented every what do i call them but then we respect god we don't fight for god we are not angel we are sinners and of course grace take our place and why am i bringing this up you killing me for allah this issue is hating the process that has bewitched all of us humiliated all of us just look at us just just look at us and then most of us will, will, will do everything we can to hide this truth testament abound about things that are going on which should not be it shouldn't even happen let, let me go, go to a fulani brother and then get his testimony about the atrocities of uh, Fulani's Nigeria. Because sometimes, so some people say, no, it's a propaganda, it's a this one. No, it's not a propaganda. This is horrible. Religious bigot. They are among the killer squad. Don't think it's not happening. Let's hear from one Fulani anyway. Uh, hello. Hello. You are welcome. Uh, this is David Mob TV production. Please, can, can we know your name, please? Yeah, my name is Seidu. So, I am Jallo. From where? Yeah, I am a half Guinean, half Gambian. Yeah, but the way you look, you look like you are a Fulani. Real Fulani. Okay. Real one. Can you tell us the difference between the... You say from... Guinea, Guinea. Gambia, yeah. Guinea, Gambia. Okay, can mm -hmm. you tell us the difference between the Guinea Fulanis mm -hmm. and the Nigerian Fulanis? 
Yeah, I know a little bit about it. Good question and very interesting. Yeah, from the Quran, they write there, Lakum Dina Kum Waliadina. Yeah, follow your religion, I follow my religion. So, why they are killing people? It's nonsense. So, for me, a fuller, a, a real fuller should not kill. We don't kill. We don't abuse people, you know. But the Nigerian fullerness, they are doing shit. It's fuckery, you know. What they are doing is bad. They should not kill nobody, you know. It's wrong, totally wrong, you know. And the mentality what they are having, they are taking we Africa back. So, unification is power. You need to unite. Fula, Yorobo, Ibo, they are all the same. It's just like, you know, um, different colors of bottle. Yeah. You put here water, you put here water, you put here water. If you look the bottle, you see the color. You will not see the water. But all those bottles, it's the same water on it. So we had um, different tribes, different, you know, but all we are one. So those Fulanis, they are fake. They are not real Fulanis. I agree with you, brother. Those Fulani in Nigeria, they are fake. They are genetically manufactured by British government to replace the indigenous people. They are fake. Because having considered this, he said, the real Fulani, they don't kill. But what brought about this agitation in the first place? It was the sense of insecurity. It was that constant danger that threatens us as the people. That is what brought this agitation. What brought the supposed Libo group? everywhere protect yourself against them protect yourself extra judicial killing squad protect yourself about the religious big god killer squad and then we look at the third one this evening which is the private mercenaries like the courtes group to mention but if you the third one those responsible for killing the killer squad you see here in nigeria and you can see their activities everywhere now in biafra land i call them and of course you have like the 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 the, the courtes very complicated if you go to Abona where i come from it is the order of the day you have courtes who are killing for many reasons for ritual purposes for organ harvesters for supremacy and many reasons and these people despite the formation that governs them of moody soprandi they can be hired they can be hired and now how does it work you have group of courtes some are fighting for source control some are fighting for supremacy they want to be recognized as supreme leader and then others are fighting just to make money Ritualists. most of you don't know that there are a group of killers in our land now who go kidnap little girls, little boys, even grown up? Tear them, pieces them, pass by pass. Most of you will not believe they have human market in Nigeria. But these are, are organized and managed by supermen in government pavilion. And somebody say, How do you know about that? I cannot forget the issue of Clifford OJ. Somewhere around Toyota around Ladipo Airport Road in Lagos State. Why did we not hear the end of Clifford OG issue? He pretend to be a madman. And then he was killing people, selling their body organs. And who were his major customers? Politicians. And the moment he was apprehended, and then they asked him two, three questions, which eventually way in that the politicians of the day, the matter died. And so don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm only telling you to be guided because they are everywhere. And so when they don't have their own personal contract to do, and then you will hire them. One day we shall tell you their story. You never know the atrocity going on in our land. But they say mechanic, you no know, let us know people will be madman. 
the atrocity of Unan the Kano and his Otapia, their freedom fighter. We don't know who they fight. We don't even know what is happening anymore. And then our people pay dearly for it. They are everywhere. That is another one. And then we look at the last killer squad. You should be wary of. They are the agitationing group. Like that of Funan the Kano and his associate. I think that is the current prevailing killing squad now in Biafra land. They are everywhere. You just don't challenge them. If you challenge them, they will kill you. Simeon Ekba is controlling some Mugu to kill some people. Now the canon, China, Samuru, uh, Fobu, okay, foreign, you hear them. And you think that is what makes us brief. You think that is what makes us great. You think that is what makes them fear us. Now when you kill your own people, you butcher them. You completely mutilate them. And then we'll be afraid of you. We only see the other side of you being a savage very hopeless wide animal that is what you are nothingness do not be careful with your life and then let them get to you now let me tell you this secret for the sake of tomorrow if you see for instance ipob unknown gunmen whether they call them eastern security all of them are terrorists in Ibo land it's not a bubago a bubago is fighting to stop this atrocity but you see those who empower a bubago must be indicted by nandekano because he's a holy they are the one who should dwell on this evening so our people will get sense i'm not a member of a bubago i have never supported the bubago neither have i antagonized the bubago I only registered my, my, uh, my displeasure by telling Biafrans that they out of establishing Eastern security automatically have divided Biafra land. Because Ebubago is Eastern security and I am not Eastern security. And so how do we fix that? They try to deceive us. Oh, Ebubago in Akwaibo. How does Ebubago stand to Akwaibo, man? A bubago in a uh, data. How does a bubago stand to the people of data? It is like a full animal coming to Igbo land and say the name of uh, Igbo police in Igbo land will be called Kwan Kwasu. And then how will you relate to that? That is indirectly a total dominance. And so you can't come to Roboman and say our security outfit is by your name. You are dominating them already. You are not different from full any headsmen. You are not different from the colonial master. But these are some of the things we overlook. We think it doesn't matter. Okwe mano obere sin e me bi ike. Esa gwa le mo kuye bun shen aga hime. Oru o bun shen kwa hwa aga hime. Maka no so wa loku. And that is the only area I registered my displeasure. But after all, who am I to get involved? When the issue, the reason of introducing a bubago is to actually create an atmosphere where peace and tranquility will reign in the communities. But like I reminded you before, from that very day, none of the started shouting, I will kill a bubago, I will kill a bubago, so that you will have the opportunity to do what is doing. And some of you are saying, hey, stop a bubago, hey, stop it. You people are the terrorists, not a bubago. We know everything we need to know about a bubago. All of you answering a bubago, we know everything we need to know. But you see, like it is said, the kingdom of heaven, Sometimes you need to commit a little sin in order to save a whole generation. You will wish you did that one day. That is the position a Bubago have found themselves. Your Nanda Kanu is heartless. He is soulless. And those of you who doubt it, I pray before our time is up, you will experience Nanda Kanu. And you will be a testament to this truth. Just look at what is happening. What what are we showing now? What is the Biafra we are fighting now? Harassing our people? No. 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 The agenda was to unite our people. I I I cannot. I don't understand. 
there is nothing I want than to see the unification of our people. Than to see us return one as we are. Now, this is a very, a very, very heavy tax. But it's achievable. But then before our very eyes, the same system that is meant to unify us begin to tear us apart. And why are they doing that? To gain control. And today what you hear, yes, we are giving you order on Monday that is sit at home. If we see you outside, our non government will visit you. You must sit at home. And everybody sits at home because they know you will kill them. Nigerian government will even help create the atmosphere for you to kill your people because you are a Mugu, a very big idiot that you are. And then the real foolish people are clapping for you. Oh, it's formidable. Hey, we are going. Hey, the people are getting ready for you. All of you are punk. All of you. The people are getting ready for you. Give it at home order. And then your leader is telling you, eh, let there be peace, let there be calm. Go and tell Onanda Kano, Biafra land, this is the beginning of Kini. So your bingos are not obey you, Nanda Kano. Kina Sangoru, DOS, Kai Kai people. Your Mugus are not obey you. Biafra land is still not calm. Okisha is bleeding. Let it be calm. You think you control anybody anymore? You think you control anybody anymore? You have lost it all for God's sake. That's what the people of Biafra must understand. Grace of God for you to escape. And now, this is not a platform where we can tell you everything. But it's our desire and intention to make sure the situation is arrested. You understand? Arrest the situation completely, subdue the whole process. And this is what we want to do and uh, to be able to achieve this you need to pay heed create an insurance platform to salvage your family and your property we know how they function and we are checkmating them by every means necessary every possible way but we get to a stage where we cannot help you if you don't want to help yourself. Forget about what they are doing to deceive you. When you know their truth, they kill you. Now they are telling you, United Nations, they want to give a Nigerian six months ultimatum, United Nations, all those are lies. We've been hearing this protocol and ceremonial statement. The lying. Yes, we are telling you, uh, in the can is extrajudicial killing. And then let's look at what Mazim Efo wrote in his post this evening, some hours ago. Yes, if United Nations talks about now, uh, let's look at the issue of uh, uh, Nigerian illegal arrest of Unan the Colonel and of course illegal court proceeding. It looks like the guy has a way to go. But what about the terrorism? Because Nigerians are going to write to United Nations, if it be true, and say, yes, you see, to save life and property, which is the reason why we are here. That is why we took the step we took. It has not been easy to apprehend this man. We have discovered that the life of over more than 400 million people is in danger because of this one man. What are we supposed to do? Do we kill 4 million, 400 million people because of one man or do we kill this one man? We are very kind not to even kill him. That is why we brought him back. Now check now. Is the situation not under control? But the United Nations, look at his audio, look at what he said and then I now play now the can audio. He say, catch the police, kill all the police, shoot them. Fire them, destroy them, put bomb for road, kill all of them, pursue them. That is freedom fighter. Just imagine Nelson Mandela cross his leg somewhere with his side cheeks, his girlfriend, somewhere in America, and he's broadcasting on radio, telling the Zulu people, kill Oibo, kill the white people, destroy everywhere, rape their women, chop their meat, kill them, rape them. Imagine if that is what Nelson Mandela is doing, his name will rot in the garbage of history. 
which we will not understand. But okay, that's say it, you know, he's our supreme mercy, he's our brother, let's go to leave him. <laughs> this affects all of us. And because we are involved, we will clear ourselves. That's what the United Nations tell you. Okay, okay, you know, the guy was drunk, you see. Even though he was drunk, it is said that the ignorance of the law is no excuse. You think Nigerians are fool? They are watching the people that will bring out their head with Jesus Pabellion worker. You think Nigerians are keeping quiet? They are one, one Nigeria. You see, these are more reason why we are supposed to engage these people through the preamble of law. And then before any competent court jurisdiction, all their plans against us will come to nothing. Me in age, all of four no go can jaga. But now where are they? Where are it? Where are the four no go? And so we we'll have to look for a way to protect ourselves. Take note of these four groups. Disassociate yourself from where you find them. Don't be careless with your life. A lot of evil people have been killed. Emo states. Abia states. If you look at even the current platform of agitation, you will see a tribalism worse than what you are, you are experiencing in Nigeria. Everything, if it's not in Imo State, it's so more here. If it's not in Imo State, it's so more here. If it's not in Imo State, it's so more here. And then they pick people like Benjamin Madubugu to be colonizing our area. Now the Kano sister is colonizing Enugu and Eboy. Very unfortunate. And so there are class squad everywhere. But we will at least them. Only take heed and watch out. Biafra process continue. Every pro Biafra group who are trying to correct these ills do not relent. It's not easy. I have to make so many enemies just to make sure the right thing is done. And I like it. I even want more if that is what it takes to make things right. I understand. You risk your life and, and then some persons who can't even cough who, where you risk your life will come and judge you. And the people you are even fighting to save are the ones who will castigate you. But you see the struggle is the glory. At this moment, our lines are open. If you're able to call in to make your contribution before I wind up, and that will be fine. But in the absence of that, we still meet the next day, we continue from where we stop. The number to call is 090-380-57131. 090-380-57131. It's a WhatsApp line. 080-380-57131 is a WhatsApp line. If you're able to call the number, call in, make your own contribution, encourage your people, advise your people. They should stay clear all these activities. I was saying I'm going to tell you a secret. When you see unknown government, when you see ESM, when you see IPOB or anybody on the street of Biafra land, they are putting on Biafra regari or anything and they are trying to display. My brother, don't join them. Let me review this so we can save life. This is how they do. They will say we are going to, for example, Mpo Junction. They will say when we get to Mpo Junction, we are going to do display. As you can see them do. They tell themselves, carry your bag, put the cloth. Of course, a cheap, cheap material. And then wear another cloth inside. And so they go to Mpo Junction with those cloths. When they get to that junction, they tell themselves, once it is, for instance, 8 o'clock dot, everybody pull your cloth, let it remain only that Biafran cloth. And at that time, one of them will jump out from where they are hiding, pull the cloth, and begin to ginger. Hey, 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 hey. Yourself will join them for what you don't know. 
they have told themselves in the next five minutes everybody disappear and so in the next five minutes while you are still doing hey, 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 are you see a wedding for a menu they have run away that they are biafran cloth they will throw it inside the gutter and disappear you don't know what is happening nigerian will respond immediately they know because biafra is a treason so we are warning you disassociate yourself from them it is not because of the hatred so that we can be able to protect you i'm joined by one of us call on whatsapp can you hear me call on whatsapp can you hear me call on whatsapp can you hear me so i think it's not yet ready to speak and this hasn't been said they have disappeared and you will be the only one there and this is how we get a lot of collateral damage a lot of people being killed for what they don't know anything about let us see if life can you hear me call on whatsapp uh, good evening sir good evening my brother and welcome to the program go ahead please the world is listening um i good evening Jabba. i good evening good morning and good afternoon to everyone listening uh, i just i came in a little bit late so i can follow up on the some of the programs for at least i uh, for enumerating these facts and separating me from uh I punk and their criminal activities about the killer squad they have currently roaming the within the Biafran territory. And it's quite unfortunate that we have to arrive at this uh, junction where we have to kill people just to prove a point that they are they are listening and they are following your orders. You only have to force people into submission or or else they have to pay with their lives. This is where we are currently. Uh, so many people are benefiting directly or indirectly from the killings. Killing of civilians, killing of police, army, and the rest. So there are many people are benefiting from it. But it's quite unfortunate because these things they are doing are uh, a very wrong signal. It's a very wrong signal to our people. Yes, but nobody who have that moral, moral, moral standing to call us killers, murderers, even uh, cannibals. But, it, but today, look at where we are now. We are, we are even uh, up the, uh, we are even users, uh, users are now presently for object of mockery because of iPunk. We, we are now people they, they, they used to, when, when they have, anybody want to reference evil, they just use us as, uh, they, make, they, they just went out towards the direction. Look at this. I know see how they are killing themselves. Even as wicked and heartless Boko Haram are. Uh, you, you've never seen the, uh, anybody complain, ah, Boko Haram kill people, I will eat their flesh. They don't do that. But I hope they so wicked that even they kill, they eat flesh, they even sell people's organs. They sell people's organs and eat the remaining parts of the flesh is the height of wickedness and people are jumping up and down because I'm trying to cover him and I'm not and you know you know I'm not a savior of God I'm not a savior of and and I say are this is not listening to his practice anybody who is not listening to his anybody who is not listening to his he will see you in the bush he will see you in the bush he see guys Something is wrong. Years back, was it like this? No. Until he introduced his criminality. Now I am I as a I as a person. I I, I don't why you why should I have problem with somebody who believes in one Nigeria? Why should I have problem with somebody who believes in uh, putting the constitution down? Why should I have problem with somebody who believes in their their ideology? I shouldn't have problem with these people. Because uh, when my activities doesn't uh, infringe on their own, that we all can live in peace. 
everybody has the right to do whatever he wants to do. But look at that punk now trying to force everybody he must be part of their, their fraud. Uh, they must be part of their, uh, their fraud of Bilma. Bilma, no, they can because the, the, the Biafra is a, these people have a, they, 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 they destroy the name itself. They destroy that brand, that brand, the Afra. I punk have destroyed the name. Official, and I listened to one of the clips of uh, Ujuku where he said that the whole aim of Biafra is purely to prevent ourselves. Lock our people so we can prove to them that we are powerful or to prove to people people listen to us. I want to repeat what Ujuku said. He said the whole aim of Biafra is being slaughtered. But unfortunately, in the 21st century, that has been redefined. The Biafra has been redefined to the whole aim of Biafra of Bilimana and the Kano is to kill our people so we can prove a point to people that they we are in control of, of our people. That's what is happening. And some people, hey, it will be my similar sense. It will be my man. That boy is that idiot to call man. He's a criminal. He personally, the government is using that. That they should, they, they, they should, I will use one that kid that they are going to jack up to blood. If the government will approve uh, that they let our people do what you do, well, our person will use my hand and strangle him to them. They are to blood. That guy is evil. Look at the whole region. Need to be very peaceful, very peaceful. You can look about outside the house. I will know they do gaga. That is the only, that is only not be waker. Outside that, there's no other place. There's no other silence that happens. Even a not be waker. Is the happen in South Africa when you travel at night? Today, the other places are not in area because of iPhone. Thanks to them. When you, de when, you destroy, when you destroy your father's uh, house, just, just, just to tell your father that how powerful you are, prove to your father how powerful you are, and you forgot that in the same place you have to come back to sleep at night. Um, after you saw it at daytime with your friends, and you come back at night, and you end up being homeless. Who you do? Hmm? Now who you do? I'm um, moving you know too much. When I'm high punk, when I'm moving you know too much, Look at what the two people are doing. Shift back and forth. Ebilma was one about when he was introducing banditry, insecurity into the land. That this is not going to be yield anything fruitful. He said, no, Nakonyam, Nakonyam, but today, the police, key army, and the sister is having the police. And then he, he didn't kill his sister. I even call her a sabotua. Nakonyam, but Nakonyam, but in 2022, he's not coming back. To tell people, uh, you know, the Afghan land, uh, it has to be peaceful. It should be peaceful. You are not here to kill our people, you are here to save them. But he, he, he started to kill himself. He initiated the process. Now he can't control it. They can't, honestly, uh, who the government will use it in my house? Who is hard and strong to death? Just see how people should handle him. Do anyone do? What the government say go ahead and do what you do with what people want. Because I, I, what is the essence of the violence going on? You have, a, you have some dead man walking. And these are young, young guys, teenagers. Most of them have been here 30 years. This guy, some of them are vulnerable. They don't have the mind of their own. They need guidance. But, but due to poverty in their land, unemployment, these guys are, are, are exposed to several, uh, to this criminality and they you know, took advantage of it, bring one is Giving people gun is not a problem, but collecting the gun that's where you have the problem. So people must rise up and deal with this insecurity decisively. This is not time to be doing uh, in my own one night. I go there. If you continue to be the one day, the evil is going to continue. 
I'm as a person, this is not affecting my place. For sure, this security is not affecting my place. I'm from Asaba, just a state, and you're not precisely. It's not affecting my place. The 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 they tried to 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 do it there. They 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 saw him. The second time they saw him, they were color water water. But the but due to out of love, if my place is secure, I mean, I don't know if it's my is that so I was born. If you most of you don't know, you will go, and you'll be threatening people. You do it. It's not your place. It's my place. Uh, that I was born there, so I have the right to say anything I want to say. I was born in an Ambra state. And of course, just as always, it the network issue. But of course, we keep on doing what we are doing until our people get the truth. Let us be guided. Let us not forget why we are here. Can you hear me? So, even your brother and sister to prove a point is not going to help anyone. So, before I will go, so that I will, I will allow other people to come in and make their own contribution, I will encourage our people and everyone listening. No matter your ideology, if you believe in pulling down the constitution, you believe in one Nigeria, you bring your initiative that will help preserve the one Nigeria. Bring it here. Let us debate it. Let's talk about it. Let's enlighten, enlighten people. This video is open for everyone. It's not. It's not all about. Uh, it's not all about Biafra. Because as uh, for for now, we are we are still in Nigeria. We are all Nigerians. So bring your own initiative. You believe in regional autonomy. Bring the things that will help to get get these things. Because you see some all these bingo. Ah, terrorists will pay that terrorists will overrun Nigeria. And and you think your own family is going to overrun Nigeria? Just look at what is happening within some part of within some northern states. People can't travel on the road again. Is it, I, I'm, I'm even talking about not when it is happening in, uh, in, in our now, some part of Southeast. And uh, also all this area. What is happening now? Just just use it and you put one bandit of Isibuka Haram, Isu Apaisi, they should be around the country. And you think they will spare your family because you supported them. Don't put for anything for such things to happen. If you if you if you if you are if you don't get anybody's enemy, the Fulani is clean or Fulani. Where did you see the Fulani? Are you not the one that that is clean for all people now? The Fulani is clean or the Fulani is clean or the people have I talk have been exposed exposed and said that most of the people we are ranting we are done actually done by them. It was done by them. Not that's not to say that Fulani didn't kill. At least I come. I I come. Some people have even though I support. I know. Not go on and I've stated several times that we know some places that Fulani actually did the attack. But that is not, that is not, but pushing the narrative that it is all over Fulani is something that I personally don't agree because I have seen that come from the one who are doing presently, even probably for now. I, I, I've caught several people seeing happen in some many places, they say no. So it shouldn't, uh, with everybody that doesn't that doesn't believe in what you, what you believe our enemies. So now a few icons that are shouting now and shouting now. When, 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 if 1999 when Chief Rafael was really the second struggle then that he he said he, he was this icon who are if you don't believe in that I will kill you in your life today. So no, somebody for the fact that someone doesn't believe in what you believe in should be making your enemy. And moreover, everybody is suffering in Nigeria. Into anything that comes from my place, that comes from your place, I mean the full army are calling. It is just anything that I enjoy in the one Nigeria. The masses are not enjoying. Nobody is having fun. It's only the masses. So, recognize this tribal, ethnic, and religion. They recognize it and use it against the people, against the masses. The full army common man is suffering. The, the full army common man is suffering. Do you know? Common man is suffering. 
comment le monde est souffre du secret comment le monde est souffre du coup comment le monde est souffre du job comment le monde est souffre with all the resources in our place yet we are all suffering and so our enemies are the ones benefiting from all these things and what do they do they help us package this life that hey, it is full of it is very full of living people it is not comfortable that are stopping us from developing our place but they receive salary they receive their allocations every month is are they paying them what do, what are they doing with the money what are they doing with the money this so, so, so that's why we call on people we call on good governance force Charity business at home. Let us uh, develop our place and put in right competent people who have our interests at heart. And then, PVT, let us try, try step one before we take, talk about step two. You don't, you, you, you don't, you don't be the cast of the air when the Africa come. Uh, it should be a municipal. Start it now. Start it now. That's what I'll talk about. Good governance. We do not politicians to act. Thank you. National Assembly. Your council, your state governors. If your state governors were up and running, let me tell you, but I, I can guarantee you that most people will not be part, will not be part of this show because this thing they are talking about. Hey, this thing can work not. All the things you people you could do it to know, but it's, it is it is lie. If our state government, regional government are working, the way they are supposed to work. This is happening. Every cat is every government shaman receive. 700 uh, about 700 and something as many uh allocation as many allocation to the various uh laws and uh, council every government now check that how, how much uh, just every month only i'm not i didn't say uh, every month the deposit are supposed to be used for we do for in, in, in rural areas those places put uh, hospitals, health centers, schools, do, do some repairs. Roads. They have to construct them, but they can do some maintenance on those roads. This is one of the things we should be focusing more on, holding our own people to account, because our people are our own problem. The same way in the north, the early side the problem is not only from Buhari, neither is the federal government, it is our own people. And people are saying, uh, why is our airport not working? My brother, build your airport. Build your own airport. Let's see if the to standard build it to start inter, international standard. You, you don't need a cookish or or a, 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 a shifting house or you, know, you call it a airport. Just like 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 the Mudoka we have in Delta State and uh, Anambra State, the OB are not constructed and the one uh, the three government in, in Delta State couldn't uh, finish. How can you call it Mudoka Airport? Inter and the most part of To come. Let's see if they, if they will open it or not. Now, so I'm going to pop in Lenin and uh, Potter Court. And I'm going to watch the way international flight comes in. We need to find a way and investment on this report and build them to standard. Let's see, let's see the person that will tell you that. Uh, give the, let's see the excuse. You see, we are, we are realized. We are realized that we have been more harm to our ex, ourselves, and goods. Let us develop these places to capacity. The so that our actions should be justified when we develop these places and they are standard and so that is the only excuse. The people will see that the truth what we are saying is true. But we are by what we have nothing is happening in that place, no development, nothing, nobody is doing anything. We are talking about marginalization. Nobody is gonna take us serious. We are about any from the sort of people can come in and make their own contribution. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, thank you, man. And of course we keep telling our people the truth irrespective of how they are able to comprehend it but it's just a matter of time they shall know the truth and the truth will set them free. there are killer squad or the around biafra land understand how they function and then stand aside don't be careless with our uh, with your life we have lost so many young men in recent time and who know how many will die before the end of august and then how many will be left and peradventure something go wrong who will defend our land the lines are still open if you are privileged to call in make a contribution mbebo mbo wako oto mbo kama mi heburu begi mado mbe mado kanwe rojo mbo ezi kadinu kwa mbebo 
mbo na abu nwanya nwoto okuko okpo nwo keko obuo mbo otu onya na ya amunwa mbo abola ma ihe buaro na nsala mbo oka ochicho eribe yu meju mado mbo ebo mba na azu nwanya azu mapado ya makalungi mba ma uru nwabara mbo iha na ye menefu mbo ojofo na ala mbo ebo mbo inye ekele bo ndo ndibo mba na ya abwa kachu ihe na ataro mba abwa bu mma mato mba na etufu onya ajonto na ajonya kudele riozu ya mba na ye uchezi oku waka mba ebo mba na efe mmo mba na asoya anya mba mma du na ebi ndo mmo mba mwane ana ye ebu mwane ya mba mmo na abara anya ogo mba na ye eke ipe na ono otu onye mbe mmadu na ezu ezu wera azu dogu mbe bo mba na edobi iwu obodo mbe nwoke na echukwa be ezi na ulo ya mbe oke ize ndo adibe yi mbe ndi obo na akwaliti ibe ha mbe udo na anore na achi mbe obodo na eme kota yi honu mba na asondi ichie anya mbe bo mbe nwoke na etozu etozu wera alu wanyi mbe obodo na abogo mba na ye mebu mwa adana mba mba etu anye di juru anye afo mba anye ne eji isi anye eche pota inye anye jeme inye mba mwa anye ne eji diya imono na ama mba umu mwa anye bu lima mba ama inye bu alungi na unye mba bo mba ona abu onye gawa oboro wane ya mba ne eme mmon mba umu waka mwere nsoporo mbe mwoke anaya anon nou lo ewa mwa nwa bwere mbe umu mwoke kara aka nwa nwa bwodo mbe oha na amu mwa mbe mwa mba mwe bure wani anaye suike mbe bo mbe mwa anine dobe umwe ya aso mbe mwa da anaya anu kokoko mba na ajwe se tupo eme inye mbe otu onye anaye akari obodo mbe mwri anye bo ogu anye mbo baro orya adibeyi mbo umu adane abaike mbo ezi nolo na obodo na abu ola akukwa mwata mbo umu ona akuziri mmadi inho omaye mbo anaya awa udara awa mbo uwa koto how I wish those days will come back again and of course now our people are dying like foul even more than that and of course on this note I will be ending this broadcast. But don't forget to follow us on satellite, on our relay station 100.5 FM, across Biafra land, at least at the moment. Some areas in Bayasa, some areas in Anambra, some areas in Delta, some areas in uh, Inugu State, some areas in River State, and of course more stations coming up within Biafran territory. Try and follow us on Facebook. You know, now the Kano boys, media warriors will tell you, you don't follow them, in their saboteur, don't do that. You do that on your own expenses. Because you will be left behind. They want to take everybody on our way. Destroy the whole system. It was all about preserving our values. But of course, we are not giving up until we we'll see all these things we have dreamt of. All these things we have bled for. It will come to pass in our time. I appreciate you, my brother Willie, who called in to make your contribution. An apology to those of you who cannot take their call this moment. We'll continue from where we'll stop tomorrow. Don't be careless with your life. And then let anybody school you. You should be able to apply your heart to reasoning. And I can assure you if you are sincere to yourself, no evil will be able to elude you. Nobody can cajole you into something you know is not right. And you see, it will truly be the son of your father in the end. I remain George Onyibe, and I sign off from here this moment. Ndeo.